Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do a bag review for all of you. This is the Jujube Core Convertible Bundle in the color Olive. So I'm going to say that again. This is their new line that they're putting out. It's the Core Convertible Bundle in the color Olive. And it is so pretty in real life, you guys. So if you haven't seen it already, I'm going to link it up above where I did an unboxing of four of the prints that are coming out. So the Core Bundle is coming out in six prints, three solids and three patterned. And I have two of the solids and two of the patterns that I did do an unboxing, first impression, first look, and went over all of the details of all the bags and did a bunch of comparison shots. So again, that will be linked up here above. For anybody who hasn't seen it, who wants to see just the empty bags, just the fabrics, just the patterns, just the insides in detail. But this is our packing video, you guys. And I'm going to tell you, before I received this bag, I wasn't sure what to expect. And for those of you who have been like old school, OG, pink ladies, this bag is almost like the old school Packaby, which I loved. Um, love, love, love the Packaby. So it is a lot like the Packaby. Or it's like, you could say like a B Sporty and a B Pack had a baby and is bigger like a bee right back. So if you could have a, a bee sporty and a bee pack that had a baby and was larger and held almost as much as a bee right back, that would be this bag. I am in love with how this bag packs you guys. Like I'm not kidding you. Legitimately, it is probably one of the best packing bags that I have ever owned by Jujubee. I absolutely love the way that it packs up. So I wanna go ahead and jump on it and show you guys how we do have this bag packed up. But go ahead and grab your coffee. So let's go ahead and talk about the outside of the bag here really quickly. This bag does have vegan leather trim. So the zipper pulls here are vegan leather. As well as the GGB nameplate right here. This is also vegan leather. Now there's been a lot of discussion with the core convertible bags, whether or not you can wash them. And I'm going to tell you that GGB originally said that they were not machine washable. Now I'm going to tell you that Unofficially, these bags have been washed multiple times, like upwards of five or six times, and they've been fine. But if you wash this bag, Jujubee will not say that they're machine washable because the vegan leather may not uphold its integrity through the wash. So it's not the fabric of the bag. The fabric is still the same machine washable fabric that Jujubee uses. It's just because of the vegan leather. Now, there are other companies who use vegan leather who say you can wash your bag, and you do run a risk with those bags as well, where again, Jujubee did, did did do some unofficial testing where they washed these bags up upwards of five or six times. They came out of the wash fine, but they're not gonna guarantee it, you guys. So would I feel comfortable putting this bag through the machine if I had gone on an airplane and it got really disgusting, I took it somewhere really gross? I would, I would know that I was taking a small risk but I would feel comfortable washing it. Just know that Jujubee's official stance is that you should not machine wash them, but unofficially they have been machine wash tested and they have come out fine. Now, just like any other time you'd wash a bag, you wanna put it inside something else like a pillowcase to help protect it. And then you obviously wouldn't dry it just like you wouldn't put any other bag in the dryer to hang it to dry. But again, know that you'd be taking a small risk with the vegan leather trim if you decide to do that. Now that we've gotten that little bit out of the way, let's go ahead and jump on in and talk about the features of the bag and how I do have this bag packed up. This first pocket right here is your media or your felt lined pocket. It is a very nice, long, generous pocket. It is this full width right here. I have an iPhone 10 XS Max and it fits great in here, but I have some quick grab items in here right now. I have a lip gloss and I have a Dose of Color lip, matte lip and I have a pen and then here you have a magnetic flap and that magnet is really nice and strong so right here on the top right here you have a very large slip pocket so it starts right where you see the seam here and it goes all the way to the bottom of the bag so you see where my fingers are it's all the way to the very very bottom of the bag so it is a generous slip pocket and look at this pop of color in here you guys the pop of pattern is so cute I love the white with the black polka dots with the olive it's just it's just adorable, it's absolutely adorable. So in here right now, I just have two free white paper booklets for my girls to draw in. So again, two paper booklets, but that's all I have in there. And then this zipper right here has the magic pocket, you guys. This is an entire insulated food pocket. So this entire thing, you could use it like a wet bag if you wanted to, because it's got the PUL lining, but it is an insulated food pocket. And I have this thing stuffed. So I have a very full, brand new packet of apricots. I'm just going to start pulling things out. I have some yogurt raisins. 
more yogurt raisins. I have two food pouches. Here's one. And here's two. And what I like to do with these, you guys, is I freeze them. And then I put them inside our coolers. And they work to help, like, ice packs to help keep things cold. But then they also, as they defrost, turn into a nice little slushy or, like, fruit smoothie for the girls. And they love them, especially when it's hot. And then I have a Trader Joe's fruit leather kind of buttons. They're really good. Not good for you, but delicious. And then I have a protein bar. And the other thing I would do if I was going out for a long day, I'd probably throw some string cheeses and some other protein sources in there, maybe peanut butter quesadilla. And then right here, you guys, right on the front, before I'd received this bag, I actually thought it might be two pockets. It's not. It's a crisscross design and one slip pocket. And in here right now, I just have a Jujube post-it pad. I got that at the get-together. And then I have a blank white paper booklet for me if I need to make a grocery list or make any notes. And let's see who else. Oh, I have the tag to the bag because I wanted to keep that. Let me give you a nice look at what this says about the bag for any of you who are curious. So what you'll notice is this bag does not have any external bottle pockets. The bottle pockets are on the inside of the bag, but you do have a D ring right here. This is not for a messenger strap. What this is for is this is so you can attach your stroller hooks. The bag does come with two stroller hooks. So these come with the bag. You don't pay anything extra for them. And again, this is so you could use the included stroller hooks or any others that you might have and go ahead and hang this from your stroller, from the shopping cart, whatever else you wanted to hang it from. So this bag is absolutely ingenious, you guys. So what they've done is they've made a convertible bag. Jujubee's made a convertible bag that you don't have to do any rethreading or anything to the straps besides elongate them or shorten them when you want to wear this bag in different styles. So there are four ways to carry this bag. One is with the grab handle right here. The second way would be over your shoulder. So right here, if you wanted to carry this over the shoulder, you would just simply shorten these straps right here, down here at the O-rings. Shorten it a little bit so that you just had as long as you wanted to go ahead and carry it over your shoulder. And I want you guys to take a look at the webbing here. So this is seatbelt webbing. It is not a shiny webbing like you'd find on the Tokidoki bags. It is a matte webbing. It's nice and thick though. It's very nice. So right now I have this bag in cross body mode or backpack style. So for me, that's the same length for the straps. I can wear it very comfortably cross body or backpack style. But I'm going to show you right now. So all you do to wear it cross body is you're just going to pull straight up and you get all this strap just like this. So that's the third way. And then the fourth way would be backpack style, which is right here. You just simply bring the straps down and carry it backpack style. very easy to do so again you have one grab handle two over the shoulder three messenger style and four would be backpack style so here is the super honest part of this video Everybody wants to know what does this bag feel like. Now, I went to the GGB get together and warehouse sale, and I didn't carry this bag. I carried the gray bag with me, which is called Glacier Gray. And originally, the gray was my favorite of all the four that I received. Since I carry the Glacier Gray, I will tell you that all of is now taken its place for one simple reason. While the gray is a beautiful color, the fabric is a different kind of fabric. It's almost like the gray matter fabric. And it's very soft and very slouchy. So if you don't have it, this bag completely full, when you go to carry it over your shoulder or crossbody, it goes ahead and it kind of wants to slouch in the center and doesn't keep this nice streamlined look. So in order for it to do that, you do have to have the bag very full. And so I just want everyone to know that going into it, the gray is beautiful. It is a stunning bag. But if you are really wanting your bag to be straight up and down and you don't want to have to pack it full all the time, pick one of the other five prints. So the gray one is the only one that does that because that fabric is really nice and soft and squishy where these fabrics are more structured like the regular Jujube bags are nice and crisp and they hold their lines easier. So that's that really honest part of this video. I want to be really transparent with all of you. I still love the gray color, but the slouch, I, I don't want to have to pack my bag all the way full all the time. I will insert some pictures at the end of these bags. Stunning. I will also 
post a couple pictures of what the gray bag does when it's only half full so that you guys can see and decide if that's something that bothers you or not because again a full transparency now we're talking about bag and how comfortable is it to wear this bag is comfortable to wear it's not as comfortable as some of my other gtb bags so it's not as comfortable as wearing like a be right back that has padded straps right it's not going to be that way because these straps are not padded it is a very comfortable to wear crossbody. I wore this bag all day long crossbody. It was super comfortable. I really liked it. And of the four ways to carry this bag, I tell you crossbody is probably my favorite way to carry this particular bag. Backpack style is comfortable, but again, it's not like wearing, you know, just obviously it's not like wearing something that has memory foam, um, but it is comfortable. But crossbody, I find the most comfortable with this particular style bag. Now that we're back here, let's go ahead and continue taking a look here at the back panel. You do have one slip pocket here, and again, you've got that nice pop of color. Excuse me, you've got that nice pop of print back here, which is just so cute. I don't have anything in here right now, but again, this pocket does go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And right here on this stroller hook, what you're seeing, and this is my clip of bag hook. I love the clip of bag hooks. So much fun. Okay, this bag does open with two zipper pulls. I'm gonna turn it sideways so that you can see. The bag opens somewhere between 50 and 55% down the bag. Two nice zipper pulls, you hear that's nice and smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and roll the fabric back so you guys can see better inside the bag once I open it up. So I'm going to give you a shot of what the bag looks like before we pull anything out. So sitting right here on top is my thing that I want to grab for the most, and that is my girls' toys. So normally it would be snacks, but I didn't have to put the snacks on top of the bag because the snacks were in that insulated pocket. So right here, this is in the medium pouch that comes with the bag. So this bag comes with the stroller hooks that you saw. It comes with three pouches, a small, a medium, and a large, two wrist straps. So I have a wrist strap on two of the pouches on the inside, and it comes with a long crossbody strap. So again, you get the long crossbody strap, you get two wristlet straps, and you get three pouches, a small, a medium, and a large. Now this is, again, the medium pouch, and you see it has that nice vegan leather on it. And these are my girls' quick toys, and I'm right here I just have a little puzzle. My girls are really into puzzles, especially my three-year-old. She loves puzzles. And then in here, I have some Doc McStuffins toys. I have some, um, you guys remember, strawberry shortcake. They belong to my now 25-year-old, and she gave them to her little sisters. And you guys, they still, they still smell delicious. This one still smells like strawberries. This one still smells like lemons. They smell so good. And um, my girls are just, they love Doc McStuffins. So just some cute figurines and toys to keep them busy while we're out and about. So this is what the bag looks like now that I pulled out the toys from the top. You can see all the room. So if you didn't want to have a bag of toys on the top, you can see I could put a tula in here. I could put two blankets in here. I could put some jackets in here, a couple changes of clothes. There is so much room here at the top that I did not utilize. But right here is the small set piece that comes with that three-piece bag set that comes with the bags. And here is the other wristlet strap right here. You have that nice vegan leather trim on the bags. And in here is just some medicine stuff that I have, as well as some sunscreen. So some of us have been sick, so we just have some cold medicine. I have one of our sunscreens right here. I have a GGB coin purse that has some cough drops. I have some Kleenex. And unfortunately, guys, my three-year-old, she gets migraines. And so we have some um, children's Advil in there for her because she's been having a hard time with her head lately. So that's the small set piece. Now this is what the bag looks like. And again, we're still unpacking from the center. So right here I have the large set piece that comes with the bag. And in here is my change of clothes. So in here I have a size 5T dress and a pair of underwear. I have two spare socks. And I have this change kit plus that comes with a pair of panties, a pair of pants, a baggie, and uh, six baby wipes. And I'll tell you guys, my girls are three and just turned five. Neither one of them have ever had an accident, knock on wood. 
while we're out and about. They're more likely to slip, fall, or run through a sprinkler and need a change of clothes. But I just always have that like extra security and peace of mind knowing that I have that with me if I need it. Now the only thing left on the very center down there on the bottom, you guys, right here, is a little Target dollar spot find. I heard about this first from Gator Mom. If you don't know who she is, she's Ashley. She's Gator Mom on YouTube and on Instagram. She's fantastic. You wanna go follow her if you don't know who she is. But she saw these and she decided that they were a great place to put her crayons for her kiddos, and they really are. So I have a whole bunch of twistable crayons in here for my little girls, and it just works out beautifully. And because this is only a little you know, dollar spot find at Target, I don't care if the crayon stuff gets inside, because it will, you know, the crayons are gonna mark that up. That's just fine but it fits great in there. And it's always nice to have some drawing activity stuff when you're out. All right, so let me go ahead and give you a nice shot of what the bag looks like now that all of that's out of the middle. So let's go ahead and start unpacking from the back side. So what you're gonna notice really quick is that you have four total elasticized slip pockets on the bag. You have two in the front and two in the back. They are all the same size. So right here in this elasticized slip pocket, I have a Jujube custom piece in the cherry lemonade print, and this is our mini med kit. So I have band-aids, bacitracin, gauze pads, a thermal blanket, all those kind of things that I might need to clean up a boo-boo on the go. And then right here in this slip pocket, I have kind of our potty essentials. So I have a couple of disposable toilet seat covers for the public potties. And I have about a quarter full package of baby wipes. Now, since we're right here, let's go ahead and unpack this zippered pocket right here. Now, this zipper pocket does basically go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. It is a huge zipper pocket. I do not have very much in here. So, the first thing I'm going to pull out of here is a GGB Pixel. I love the Pixels, you guys, for hair stuff for my girls. So, I have a poppable hairbrush right here. And then there's two zippered compartments. One has hair ties, like hair elastics in it. And the other one has barrettes and clips and other things in it. So it just works out great to keep those separate. And it also has a little clip if I ever want to hang it from anything. Now the other thing I have in here is I have a GTB pen. I got this at the GTB get together. And I have a GGB coin purse in a Donatella sweet shop print. For those of you who have been watching my videos for any length of time, you know that this is where I keep my migraine medication, my spare contacts, dental floss, things that I don't want the girls to be able to get at that I feel like a little bit more secure hidden away from them. So that's all that I had in there because you, can you see how deep that is? That is a huge, huge pocket. Now a lot of people wanted to know what the internal fabric feels like of this bag. It's not as thick as like traditional GGB fabric. It feels a lot like the Encore fabric. So if you've owned an Encore tote or a Ballard backpack, that's what it feels like. Now turning the bag around, let's go ahead and unpack these two slip packets on the back side. So right here, I have a GGB B set piece. This is the medium piece and this is in the Midnight Posy print. This is our restaurant essentials. I don't need a whole lot for my girls because they're older, but I do keep some stuff with this. I keep some disposable table topper mats. I keep a toothbrush container full of paper straws. Some dental flossers. And the last thing that I keep in here is, um, this is made by Snoopy B, and these are little silicone pieces. Now, if you had a baby who was teething, they could teeth on these. You could use this to make a blanket into a nursing scarf. What we use them for is to use um, to make cloth napkins into bibs. So like we went out to a restaurant with my husband's family and my girls decided they wanted to eat red pasta and pizza and they were wearing white. So all we did was take their cloth napkins and made them into bibs using these, which is just fantastic. And then if they're dirty, you just wash them. And again, these are made by Snoofy B and I will link that in the description box below because you guys always ask me about these. Now in the last slip pocket over here on this side is a GGB small set piece. And this is in the Noir Rose. This is the vegan leather. And what you can see here is it's actually attached to the strap. This is actually your key leash for the bag. But I like to keep my key, my wallet on there because it adds a little bit extra security. So I feel like it's not going to go anywhere. And when it's attached here, this strap is long enough that I can pull the wallet out and get what I want out of there and not have to unattach it. So I can shop in the store, pull my money out, and not have to ever take it off that leash. 
but in here I have two be charged, one with insurance cards and one with credit cards. And then I have a NCO coin purse with cash coins and some other stuff. So it just works great as my wallet. I love that I can put it around my wrist. And a lot of people have been asking recently, how does the vegan leather hold up? You guys, I want you to take a close look at this. I have been using this since the day I got it as a wallet. It is stuffed. It is stuffed. Do you see how full it is? It, there's no cracking. There's no peeling. There's no pulling at the seams. I literally throw this in my bags. I throw it in the back of the car. I throw it in the front of the car. It's worn on my wrist. My children take it into the store when they need to go. So it is just, it's abused. It really is. And it is held up so beautifully. And there's no chipping or anything on the hardware as well. And I know this is kind of a side note, but I get asked this on the weekly, how the vegan leather is holding up. So this is just so you guys can see, this is my most used vegan leather piece. I've used it every day, multiple times a day since I received it months ago. And it's, it's perfect. It's perfection. Now, the last two things that we have to look at in here, you guys, are the side pockets. These are actually insulated bottle pockets. I will tell you, I will probably use these occasionally as bottle pockets and sometimes not. Right now, I'm not. So on this pocket over here on the far side, I have a larger sunscreen. I have a hand lotion. And I have our hand sanitizer. And then on this pocket right here, look how cute this is. This is a Jujube B Shady. And look how cute it matches the print on the inside. I didn't even realize it till I put it in there. And in here, I have right now my favorite sunglasses. These are the Jens. They are made by my friend Amber, who owns a Sensible Mama, and they are named after me, you guys. And they are probably the most comfortable sunglasses I have ever owned. Run and get yourself a pair. They fit great. They're black rimmed with the wood temples. They're so cute. So now that everything's out of the bag, I want you guys to be able to get a good shot of it in here. So you have the insulated bottle pockets on either side, and then you have the two slip pockets on the front and two slip pockets on the back that are elasticized. You have the key leash that is also on that seatbelt webbing with the nice metal hardware, and then you have that full zippered pocket right here. Okay, you guys, so stay tuned because while I'm done talking about the packing part, I do have some pictures to insert here at the end of the video so you can see some more close-ups of this beautiful bag. I have some in natural lighting. I have some in studio lighting. And I am going to insert again the pictures of the Glacier Gray so you can see the difference between these two bags worn on the body. So I have this one on the body and the Glacier Gray, both half packs so that you can see the difference in the two. But that's it for me, you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.